Okay, so as I wait for the um, white parts that I just painted chrome, um, gun chrome, to dry, which we'll review in a moment, uh, I want to take care of on a few other parts that I want to detail up a little bit more. Uh, mainly the thrusters. Since I've already primed them, I'm going to use, I'm going to spray paint them the, uh, the chrome from Al Alcad to give it that extra shine since it's a thruster. running out of the uh, chrome from uh, from this brand and I'm hoping that um, I'm going to get myself another bottle as a matter of fact I don't know if you guys are aware of this for those of you who are here in New Jersey um, Denville Hobbies that's on Route 10 he's now selling exclusively a large amount of um, of uh, Alcat 2 paints. He has not only um, this color, but he has other, many other colors as well. So, I would probably recommend you guys visit him and check him out. Of course, for those of you who are not in New Jersey, I would probably recommend going online and purchasing them. If you go to Denville, tell them Strider Center. Uh, now, I had to figure this out. I wanted to paint the little capacitor engines all in one shot. I didn't want to do this individually, so I did this uh, little getup. You guys get the gist on what I'm doing right now, so let me just continue on and we'll move on to the next part. Okay, so now we're going to be working on the blue part and reviewing a lot of the part, a lot of the paint that I have. I decided to use this guy, metallic black. This is number 78. Let's see how it works on this. Just test out the black, make sure it came out right. There we go. Alright. Uh, actually, let me make sure that came out right. Yeah, alright. So we will begin with um, this guy. I've used metallic black in the past um, when I painted the Master Grade um, Age One Titus last year. It came out pretty good, but I used a spray can. I didn't use uh, paint like you're seeing right here. I didn't use an airbrush. I found this bottle and I said, oh, "Let me try it out." And I believe it was kind. Of, it, it feels appropriate for this kit. and a shine to it. I guess when it dries, it'll be a lot better. All right, here are some of the th side thruster armor. I feel 
like I'm oversaturating it, but no, it looks alright. There's a little oversaturation there. Let me try to even it out. Black is like the same problem I have with red paint, where sometimes the lighting doesn't hit right, and then you're thinking you're hitting a lot, and in reality you're not, and then you screw up. a mistake, I may have to reprime this part again. Alright, this one looks okay. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll re give it a, a second like light pass afterwards. Here's another part of the uh, um, backpack armor. saturation in the middle. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll try to even it up again. It's a strong, this color is a strong color. And then if you don't apply it right, you do more damage. Here's the side armor of the body. begins the long, tedious task of putting on masking tape onto these parts. And uh, some parts is easy to do. The others, like I mentioned before, where I need to wrap it around the part and put it in the position that I want. Um, for example, I'll, give you, I'll show you this. Here is the leg with the armored parts on. I, I gently lightly pressed it on these parts so that way I don't it doesn't go all the way and I have a hard time yanking them off um, but I will then begin applying the pattern of the tape over it in the position that I want and then I'll pull it out and then respray it so that way I know where where it lies so I did it for this I did, the, I did the same thing for the shoulder armor, 
which I'm going to do the same thing, and portion of the arm. Um, I, I didn't want to split this one out. I said, let me leave it the way it is for now. I, I have a general idea of where I'm going to be going with this. Now, how am I going to... What type of pattern did I was thinking? Well, I began cutting some some strips. And uh, for, you, for those of you who don't know... Um, give me a second. I'm trying to find it. Because I had the pack here. Um, I believe this is the six millimeter masking tape width. I don't. I was gonna get the three millimeter, but I couldn't get my hands on it. So six should be fine. And to give you an example, here is the rear shield, uh, rear skirt armor, and here's the other rear skirt armor with the tape on. You see where I'm going with this? Now, I'm going to probably do everything in this pattern going around. Kind of like going in a swirl. I was originally going to do this like this and then do it in the opposite direction on the rear, uh, on, on this. And then try to like wrap it around all this, all the uh, patterns going around the body. But I think I'm going to do it like this, like like it's swirling. All the camo uh, um, patterns are swirling around the suit. So um, even though this one will be here and that will be there, these patterns will be going around like so. You guys, understand? So. I am now going to begin the long, tedious task of preparing these um, parts. Give me some. Give me. Give me a little time for this.